Hello, good morning, my darling divas. It's your girl, Jazzy GGV82. How are y'all doing this morning? I hope by the time this video reaches you, you all are blessed and all are in the best of spirits. I'm coming to you today with an outfit of the day. And um, as you can see, this is the Divas Premiere um, Brazilian Curly. And all I have is nothing but positive, positive things to say about this hair. This is the best batch. This is the best batch of hair that I've ever worn. Okay, that I've ever worn. When I say I'm so in love, it's I don't even want to take it off. But I did take it off, and um, what I did was I sh I'm shampooed, I'm deep treated my hair, and then put her back on. And what I do is I have my bands in there. Um, have I showed y'all my band method um, with my um, bands? And what I did was I just attached my band to it so that I can put it on because I just I sewed it, and like I said, I don't really sew my hair. I really do sew-ins and it was itching me like crazy and I just I wasn't feeling that so another thing too is for me I just don't waste I just like to change my hair every day I just like to do different things that's just what I do so what I do do is a, a tip that I will give y'all today is if your scalp is itching a lot I would like for you to take some olive oil okay I'm um, not olive oil I mean um vinegar put it in a spray bottle matter of fact check on my blog because I have I've I writ I wrote about it um little tips and tricks on for um weave wearers for sewing ladies who likes to wear sewings and stuff like that and how you can maintain the itching and basically what you can do and what's causing the itching and everything so you can check out my blog on my website and you can I'll that'll it'll fill you in on everything on what instructions and everything you need to do okay okay but anyway so that's what I did I shampoo treated my hair and before I did I just sprayed my scalp with vinegar okay. It helps with the itching, especially any spots that you have that itch a lot, spray vinegar on it. It'll help the itching. But anyway, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to show you her. Ain't she gorgeous? Yes, so I used my um, my curling wand, my Helen of Troy curling wand yesterday to curl her. And then I just let her fall. And as you can see, you see I have some pieces in here. This is what I do. Like when the weather gets nice, I like to experiment. I like to make my own colors. This is That's just what I do. And um, I have these little pieces um, that one of my girlfriends gave me um, from one of her clients. And she her hair was real long, so she cuts the hair. When you and she's giving them when they're getting a haircut or whatever, she saves the hair. And then, you know, she, she gives them out. So she gave me some. And what I did, I just clipped the hair in after I colored it. Um, I used some professional um, coloring products by Jericho. And um, to, get, to achieve my beautiful colors, I will be doing a tutorial on how to color hair. Okay? Um, yes, I will be doing that very soon, and um, I just want to show y'all how she looks. She's soft, shedding. Yes, she does shed. I ain't gonna lie about that. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie anyway. Yes, she does shed. But is it crazy shedding? No, it's not. The hair is soft. I run my hands through it. When I say no problems, I mean, oh my God, the hair is, the hair is gorgeous. Yes, I'm gonna order some more. I have three more bottles. I'm gonna order some more. So. Um, I just, I have uh, another bottle, three bottles that I have to do another wig with. I'm just gonna, I have to order some more closures. So, and that's what I've been practicing with my own closures too. So, but as of right now, since I can, I don't have it, I'm, I don't have a down pack. And another thing too is like, um, crocheting. Um, I've been, well, I have a tutorial on that, on how to do crochet. I just haven't, I've had it for a long time. I just never uploaded. It just takes too long. And I learned this from my girlfriend, Do Hair 6000. I didn't even know anything about crocheting, but my bestie, she's master at doing crochet braiding, okay? So um, check her out. I will leave, matter of fact, I'll leave her link below so you can check out her crochet because she just did a video of um, crochet braidings, okay? Okay, so what I'm wearing, I'm wearing this banging blazer that I got at Forever 21. And what's so crazy is I just bought this blazer. Look, a button fell off. I don't know where the button's at, but I, I think I can find a substitute. And um, so it crosses over like this. As you can see, but you know, as you know, I'm not gonna wear it close anyway. Okay, and I have on this gorgeous um, blouse that I have. I got this for a dollar eighteen cents at the Goodwill, and I have on some regular tights. Just some. Let me pull this down. I just have on some regular tights that I probably paid like two dollars for, and I got these at Wet Seal. And let me show y'all my shoes. These are the shoes. Matter of fact, I will take them off so that you can see them up close. I got these shoes at lightinthebox.com. As you can see, it has a little peak toe in the front and the zipper in the back and the buckle on the side right there so you can adjust it. And that's it. And they're comfortable. They're beautiful. Um, I, I'm, in, I'm in love with these shoes. This is my first time wearing them. 
and I just have a lot of shit to share with y'all. So that's basically um, that's basically my look, divas. And uh, am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? I don't think I am. I don't think I am. So it's just I just have to fix my hair just a little bit, as you can see. Uh, let me show y'all. I can show you. I don't mind. Yeah, no, I don't care. All right. So as you can see, the blonde and the tips and this rubber band and it's just a pin that's holding it. Just a pin that's holding it. That's it. You know, improvise. Ain't hey, that serious? Shoot. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. I I improvise. So, just to give a little pop of color, as you see this color right here, this is pink, and uh, pink and mood indigo together, and this one is red and pink together. But I'll be doing um, I have um. Um, a piece of um the um of this hair of this Brazilian curly hair that I will be coloring. I probably more than likely I'll be doing it today. I should be taping it today, and I will be putting it in here. I will um, I will put, I will install it in here so that I can give it like a nice pop of color. Just you know, and I will be doing my ends, doing different colors and stuff to show y'all some different stuff. Cause this is what I like. I just I do a lot of wacky. It doesn't look tacky. That's the point. Whatever I do, I make sure it doesn't look tacky. Whatever I put on is gonna always look classy. So. I'm going to make it where it works. As you know, I do not have, a, um, I, I don't have a corporate job. I'm in a corporate job or anything like that. Juju just does what she do. I do what I do. Okay. I don't, I don't work for nobody. I do, I do what I do, period. Okay. So I don't have to answer nobody to tell me what color I should put in my hair or what I need to do. I do whatever I want to do. And that's just what it is. So my doll leaves, I hope you enjoyed this quick outfit of the day. Um, I have this cute little ring. Where did I get this from? Uh, damn, I can't remember. I'm not sure. Okay, and then you know, one of my rings. I have yeah, one of my rings, and my gorgeous necklace that my boo bought me, and my bracelet that my mommy bought me, and uh, yeah, that's it. That basically makes up my outfit. And even though you see it's gray and black or whatever, the color in the hair basically makes the whole outfit pop. That's the point. You know, I'm wearing a lot of gray. I'm wearing a lot of black. Wearing dark colors. Oh, my makeup. I didn't even show y'all my makeup. I'm so rude. Okay, as you can see, it's blue. Can y'all see that? It's blue at the bottom and white. And I use my NYX jumbo pencils to on the, on the underneath. So to make the color pop, right? And then I put black and brown and highlight at the top. And no foundation, just you know, a little liner there. And yeah, basically that. That's the light is not really too good, guys. So that's basically I just it was just something simple. Nothing too much, you know, nothing too drastic. Like I said, not everybody can, you know put makeup on great so hey I, I i try so um basically it's on a budget i'm just showing you you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to look fly you know to go buy makeup not everybody can because what i'm doing basically helps college students moms who cannot afford it and um people who are trying to save money and at the end of the day like i said uh, i don't knock mac i don't knock all these other cosmetics i love them i love them but i'm in the means of helping me budget because i don't live like no joneses because i ain't no joneses i just do what i do and what i can do Basically, if I want to go spend the money, I will, but I don't need to. If I can shoot, if it can be cheaper and still get the same effect, that's what I'm going to do. If Boo's going to buy it for me, sure, you're right, I'm going to wear it. If Boo's going to buy it, but you ain't going to spend her money to buy it, I can guarantee you that. So that's just basically what it is. So I'm just showing you how you can still make your makeup look banging and use cheap makeup. Shoot, the dollar store, dollar holla, dollar holla. Hmm, don't, don't hate on the dollar holla. But anyway, ladies, I got to go. I've got business to attend to. So I will... Talk to y'all soon, all right? So soon enough, we'll be having another class and session, all right? Y'all have a blessed day. Goodbye.